Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having an awesome day. I am Fit Fibra here, back again for Elevate Her Soul. And I'm going to take a caller tonight. I, I'm going to be super transparent and I'm always transparent. I will never try to trick you or anything. I am so, I get so nervous when I have a caller because I never know what I'm going to get. And I never know how's it going to go. It's very different than when you have a planned reading or a booked reading and you just know if you're doing psychic or medium, but I love it. It keeps me it keeps me going. It keeps me alive. It keeps me like, ah, so <laughs> we're going to do this tonight. I'm super excited for that. Um, so I was going to say, share this video, share this video. So everyone can connect with A1R Psychic Radio Network. It's such an awesome family. We have new people coming in, which I absolutely love. Every time I see a new person, I'm like, woohoo, new people too. Not that I'm older or anything in the show. Um, okay. So I'm going to explain to you, cause I am taking a caller tonight. I want to explain sort of like a little bit of a difference difference between a psychic and a mediumship reading even though you probably already know that and I probably explained it before but because I don't know what I'm going to get tonight I'm going to explain so psychic is about you okay so you'll hear people saying when am I going to get married should I date this person am I going to get the job all these life changing transitions that we're going through we kind of want some help and some guidance from spirits and and a psychic um, to give you and help you with that guidance, right? And give you some of the answers that hopefully you're looking for. The mediumship side of it is when we connect with your loved ones and spirit on the other side. So for me, those are very different, okay? So psychic for me, I would say is a lot easier, easier, um, because I tap into it differently. For a psychic, I can actually see visions. And if I get a psychic call tonight, I want to let you guys know that the way I work is a lot of the times I get future stuff. Okay, so I don't always get what's happening right now unless that's my intention and someone asks me that question or I just come through in an hour session, which I normally do. So I get a lot of future things. So if you hear me saying you're going to move, you're going you're gonna to get a new car, you're going to you meet this person that there's a man around you. And, and, and a lot of this stuff for me is like six months to 10 years down the road. Okay, so, right? so I just want to reiterate that is I'm very in the future. Now, in the mediumship world, I hear everything. So in the mediumship world, when I connect to your loved one spirit, I'm actually hearing everything in my right ear. And as you guys know, the singing medium, I'm actually hearing the song lyrics and I have to translate it. So a good way to explain it is if you're calling in and I'm, you know, you want a mediumship reading, you're connecting to a loved one in spirit. And if you are in front of me, it would be a little bit more easier to connect to them. Not necessarily. You can still do it on Zoom or phone call. Um, um, yep, we're going to have a caller. That's awesome. And so what I do is I hear songs. So it's like picking up a telephone and the voice is like far away. So I have to translate a song and sort of listen very closely because I'm very clear audience in that realm. So that being said, we have Ray Ann from Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada, another Canadian. Let's bring her on through. Hi, Ray Ann. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Nice to connect with you. Yes. How can how can I help you? Um, I think I would be looking for a psychic read tonight. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, so would you have a specific question in mind, or would you like just like me to give you what I'm getting from spirit? I would just love you to give me what you're getting from spirit, please. Perfect. I like. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, so I don't know if you just watched a little bit of what I just explained, and so I was explaining to the audience that the way I do psychic readings is a lot of it is in the future. Okay, so if I'm saying something, you're like, "What is this lady talking about?" You can email me in two years and go, "Hey, Jen, what you said two years ago came true." Okay, so just so you're prepared for that. <laughs> Right. Okay, sound good? Yep, sounds right. great. So I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna riff here. I'm gonna give you everything I can get from spirit for your highest good and nothing scary. It's all positive. It's gonna be amazing. Okay. So the first thing I do get is the number five. So number five can mean a lot of things, but when I tune into the energy of number five, that feels like there's some five five people around you of some kind, uh some kind of group of five people, either family members, there's five of you. Um, I also get there's going to be some life changes coming up for you. Does that, any of that make sense to you so far? Sure. Okay. I'm also, you can say yes or no. I'm also seeing um, in the future some renovations to a home. Uh, I'm hearing banging someone around you or you specifically having some renovations done in your home. Would that make sense to you? Yes. 
Is that, would you understand that as now or is there some talk about that in the future? Um, I would understand that it's probably in the near future. Okay. So you, I pick up a conversation around like, you know, like it's like a Home Depot-y conversation, you know, we got to, let's make a list of all the things that we want to change in the home. Um, some plumbing, some lighting, that kind of stuff. I don't see anything going wrong. Sometimes when I get like a renovation in the future, I'm like, oh, there's a wire that's going to be messed up or there's a light that's not going to work or the, you're going to have some plumbing issues. So the good news is I don't see anything going in any disarray with that renovation that's coming up. It's going to be smooth sailing, okay? Um, would you understand having someone, a contractor coming in? Yes. Okay, so I, it's funny because I'm seeing a contractor boot. All I can see is a boot. And it's got like drywall mm -hmm. stuck to the boot, and he's gonna be coming. And you're like, don't get my floor dirty. So put out like, they're showing me put out the carpet for him. Like, I feel like you like to have things very neat and tidy, and not get some, some stuff on the walls or something. So, anyways, there you make make sure you tell him to be very careful with the renovations and don't step on your carpet or mess up your floor. Okay. Um, Perfect. That's so that's so funny. Yeah, the contractor that is the contractor that you're actually going to work with in in this plan um not that he's stubborn i feel like or they're not a stubborn plate like it's not a stubborn energy but kind of like make sure that they are telling me make sure that you are very specific with what you want so they're kind of reminding me like sometimes someone's like you know well this is why i want this idea for my website and the website person's no like how about this and i'm like oh okay but really i want this does that make sense to you so they're just saying make sure you stand firm in what you actually want and don't let them sway you into something different. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm just showing you something else. I also feel like someone in the family close to you, a friend or a family member is actually going to announce a pregnancy very soon or they already have. Does any of that make sense to you? Yes. Okay. Uh, has that already happened? I kind of feel like it's happened already. No. Okay, so just don't be like, surprise, you can just act surprised, okay, when they tell you. <laughs> um, okay, so there's going to be an announcement of that kind of thing. I'm seeing, like, in the future, like, within a year, someone's going to have, you know, those really corny storks, the cutouts that you put on the lawn? Um, right. There's going to be something like that. Okay, All right, did you say something? Okay, so you're not aware of this yet, right? <laughs> Okay, so this is going to come within no. within a year, and you're going to be like going to a house where they're like having a stork. Let's say we're going to have a stork party. So basically, there's going to be those corny cutouts on this lawn where you're going to have to go and attend somewhere where they have had the baby or they're announcing this baby. Okay. Right. Um, okay. Who who's the person in? Is there a person in your life that ha, works as a nurse or some kind of caregiver in a medical sense? Um, I work in a medical clinic. Okay, so two. Um, All right, because they just. Okay, awesome. Yeah, they just showed me a female leg with a um, scrubs on and like nurse shoes, and that doesn't mean that you wear these, but it just means that they're trying to get across the feeling of, you know, someone who is obviously it's you. They didn't say it was you, but someone close to you, which would be you, is close to you. <laughs> Wears these kind of okay. things to wear. Um, are you the one that's wearing different, like, mismatch? Do you wear scrubs? Is that correct that I'm in the scrub energy? Yeah, I do wear scrubs, yeah. Okay, cool. Because they're showing me, like, you, they show me, you wear, do you wear different kind of scrubs? Like, you know how you have, like, burgundy on the bottom and then, like, colorful patterns on the top? Yeah, that's exactly, I wear a little bit of everything. That's funny, because they're like, she doesn't. She's not matchy matchy, which I love. Like I think that's great. Like if I was in a clinic and I had someone come and say, "Care me," I'd want them to be dressing like not matchy matchy, right? Because that means you have a very awesome set personality and your energy is good. And you're making actually when you dress like that, um, that they're telling me that actually makes people feel better and happier because they're like, "Oh, look at this!" That they notice these little things about you, and it's like it's not a message to go get new scrubs. It's like keep doing what you're doing. Like you're actually doing more than you think you're doing in your job by wearing mismatched scrubs with like, I know that sounds really weird, but just, just go with it. Okay. Like it's really important that you keep doing that. Okay. Um, yeah. And they're saying you don't, I don't know if this makes sense to you. I just, I've learned to say everything that I get. You don't need to go to Walmart to buy, I'm not saying you go to Walmart, but like you don't have to go to Walmart to buy your scrubs. You can, you're okay to go and get some scrubs that are somewhere else. I know that sounds super weird. I, no offense to Walmart, but that was like, basically what I was saying is you can 
you can you're abundant enough to splurge if you wanted to in the future go and buy more of these outfits i know it sounds really ridiculous but just that's what they're trying to tell you that what you're doing is amazing they're very grateful for your your job but also the way you do it okay does that make sense to you okay yep yeah um the renovation the baby announcement uh, would you understand some travel in the near future? I know it's hard to do that right now, but I'm picking up some travel for you as well. I'm not planning anything, I guess, big, as in getting on an airplane and going anywhere, but it certainly would be nice to get out of the city. <laughs> yeah, do, you guys have a, do you guys have a pickup truck? Um, I don't, but the gentleman I'm dating does. Oh, sorry, I lost your voice. I can't hear you anymore. I said I don't have a pickup truck, but the gentle, gentleman I'm dating has a pickup truck. Uh, Dave, I can't hear her, but um, I think she said no, but then something else. But anyways, I'm going to keep talking and let you know what I get for that is that um, the trip that I do see for you will be in uh, her man has a truck. Awesome. Um, the, the vision I'm getting is that you will be going on a road trip with your man in the pickup truck. But I'm seeing like fast food stuff and uh, some Go ahead with these nice little lunches packed for you and going for like a picnic stops along the way, rest, I'm seeing rest stops and gas stations and all this good stuff. And then I see this map, it's almost like it has a, a trip planned for you where you're gonna go on a map and go, oh, we're gonna go here and then just go have an adventure and uh, have a lot of fun. So I'm gonna leave you with that. Uh, thank you so much for being an amazing sitter for me. Um, some good things coming at you really soon and even in the future and I hope you have an awesome trip. Um, so, uh, that was, that was awesome. I, I think that was, that was good. I was worried for nothing. <laughs> so as always, I have an after party. You guys are welcome to join me over on Singing Medium Facebook page. I always do an after party after this show. Sometimes I do it on Instagram. You can go follow me on there. The best part is you guys got to follow me on TikTok because I have really funny reels on there. Funny TikToks that, um, my daughter is filming for me of, how do how psychics look and it's not how psychics are you think they are and how a psychic reading goes so as always thank you so much for being here i love my job i love doing this and i hope to see you guys all really soon bye